Critics of the Iraq War look back in vain for another foreign policy tack that better served U.S. interests. Boycotts against Iraq of food and medicine immediately preceding the war led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Iraqi children. The first Persian Gulf War preceded that, precipitated by the green light U.S. diplomat April Glasby originally gave to Saddam Hussein to invade Kuwait. Prior to that, the U.S. sold weapons to both sides of the Iran-Iraq War. Of course, the Kurdish Holocaust in Iraq was brought on by expected U.S. military support that never happened. That's from Secret and Suppressed 2. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. For a little levity. Hi! I'm Bono. Everything I do is wonderful and great. You all suck because I'm Bono and you're not. I'm Bono, look at me. It's a lousy accent, I know. I'm Bono, I'm great. Look, look at my cool glasses because I'm great. Bono sucks. And I fucking hate him. Well, the subject of this uh, video is going to be the uh, persistent talk about uh, FEMA camps, Fred Federal Emergency Management Agency camps for the internment of civilians. Now, there has been some corroborating evidence that uh, um, the uh, Federal Emergency Management Agency has uh, put together so-called facilities or is, has been authorized to um, to uh, put facilities together for aid during times of emergency and disaster. <clears throat> the first thing that, that, that I want to say is it's quite obvious that any camps that the um, that FEMA puts together could conceivably be used for internment if uh, things go really sour. Um, and of course there are numerous videos circulating on the internet uh, of supposed camps uh, sitting idle in various places around the country that have been identified as FEMA internment camps. Um, currently I'm trying to get in touch with uh, the Federal Emergency Management Agency to get a statement from them. Now, as to whether it'll be fucking true or not, that's another issue altogether, but at the very least, to hear directly from them. Uh, so, uh, I'm trying to do that right now. The main thrust of what I want to say is that, let's just assume for a moment that there are FEMA internment camps and that at some point if things go really bad in the economy or in this country etc that uh, that these camps will be used to round people up um, the worst thing that we can do as a people is to uh, react in a fearful and reactionary way and uh, the reason I say that is because it will cause you to do irrational things because that's what fear does. Fear promotes irrationality. So we do not need to fear. What we need to do is research, understand what's coming, and do what we can to stop it. So if you feel as though these FEMA camps are real and you buy into a lot of the hysteria, and I'm not saying that they're not because Certainly, it is within the scope of what this government has done to produce these things. The point of the matter is, do not be fucking afraid. Do not sit there and pass along dubious information with this fear factor. I'm not against passing information along. Please do so. But do not couch it in these terms of fear and this uh, tremendous uh, terror at what's going to happen because all you're doing is promoting irrationality amongst those who are going to see your video and respond to it or do something rash in that return. So uh, drop the fear away. Even if they're real and even if they're going to round you up, 
you can't succumb to the fucking fear that they're trying to, to uh, put into you. What you need to do is you need to focus on fucking rational response. And that is research and attempt to do those things that you can to prepare yourself in the event that that should happen. But at this particular time, to do what you can to prevent those things from being implemented in the first place. It's simple. It's fucking simple. Now, I've also seen a lot of videos that purport to show um, the so-called FEMA trains sitting idle on train tracks around the country. And this has been, this has been rumor for fucking years that these so-called cattle cars are equipped with shackles so that uh, people can be uh, rounded up, put into these uh, train cars and shackled and bolted in and all of this kind of stuff. And uh, again, I don't discount the possibility that there is a system in place in order to enable the rounding up of people. However, uh, once again, most of the time, whenever this stuff comes out, it is designed to provoke a fear response in the people that see it. Do not give in to the fucking fear. Do some research and try to find out what you can. You know, if there's an idle train car on a track somewhere near you with hundreds of cars, you know, see who owns them. It's usually written on the side somewhere. If it's not, then do a little research to try to find out who it is. Talk to the company. You know, you could be lied to. It could all be fucking propaganda. They could be lying to you and say, oh, it's just an extra freight car. In reality, it could be a car to round people up. The point of the matter is that we don't know until someone actually fucking does it. We don't know what FEMA has to say until someone actually talks to them. Could they lie to us? Absolutely. But it's in our best interest and the best interest of everything to find out what, in fact, if anything, they have to say about the fucking subject. Same goes for the train cars. At least we have a basis to work with. Now, having said all that, seeing all the supposed uh, coffin liners and the uh, land put aside for mass burials, this <clears throat> seems to be a real contingency plan on in my mind, uh, something that uh, is put into place in order to um, effect a way of disposing with a mass amount of people in the case of uh, a national emergency. Uh, this seems to be prudent and uh, putting it in light uh, of massive executions and whatnot and giving it that flavor uh, only serves to drive that fear factor. We have nothing to fear. We have nothing to fear. If you will grasp things, and if you will take the steps necessary to bring yourself a certain measure of contentment when presented with all of this stuff, then you have absolutely nothing to fear. So, when you see the coffin liners, when you see the, when you see the videos of the, of the mass graves, it seems highly likely to me that that could be a legitimate government uh, project to enable them to quickly dispose of a lot of people who die. Now, why would they do that? That's the real issue. So is it going to be for mass rounding up of people and executions or are they lying to us about something else? Is there a huge comet about ready to hit? Or do they fear a massive pandemic of bird flu? You know, these are the things that we need to know. We need to know what the motivation is behind all of these things. And until someone actually goes and does a little bit of research, we do not have the fucking answers. And until we have those answers, we have no ground to lay for a basis for our own research. So hold off on the fear. 
until we get some concrete answers and understand exactly what it is that's going on. That's my rational word for today. Thank you. Good day.